Hey guys, welcome back to another figure review. Today's review is going to be on the NECA Godzilla 1954. Now, I got him along with my SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2000. And I was pretty much happy to get both Godzillas. One being SH Monster Arts and the other being a NECA. Now, for detail, it's pretty accurate in my opinion. I mean, in his in Godzilla's original, very original, original appearance, he is black and white. It was a black and white film, and he looks like this when in black and white, but yeah, it's very accurate. I mean, if you see his eyes here, um, they're very, um, it's like, uh, they'll stare at you and follow you wherever you go. It's pretty creepy. Now for articulation, uh, his um, arms don't fully rotate 360 because they're like a little flawed, but yeah, uh, it's pretty much, sorry for the angle there, um, same thing with the legs here, but same thing with the legs, it's pretty stiff at first, but it is what it is, but his uh, other joints here are uh, fully rotate 360, so do the hands, the uh, feet here, and also this part here, but it's a bit hard to move because it's a bit flawed and stiffed. And uh, his leg, his tail rotates 360. See? And his tail here is a bendable, which you can make it whatever you want it to look like. And for his head, rotate 360 like this. And his mouth. Now on the sizing, let's compare him with the Bandai Creations. That's on 1954. I say this is um, accurate, I guess. Let's compare with uh, the Band of Creations and Mega Godzilla. Yeah, I say this is, um, I guess this is okay, I guess. And finally, uh, Rarity, uh, he's pretty easy to find. Um, I got him in fat collectibles, not the actual word fat, it's F, I mean, P H A T fat, and that's how you pronounce the word, not the actual word fat. Uh, fat collectibles, where I got them along with other NECA figures, but I decided to get this one. There was other ones, which was the Godzilla 2000 one, the 2014 Godzilla. So, yeah, um. So yeah, detail is very accurate, articulation is um, okay, I mean, they're a bit stiff and flawed as well. And sizing is good, uh, rare T is pretty easy, so in the end I'm going to give this um, figure a, um, an 8.5 out of 10. I mean, most of his articulation is pretty hard to move. I mean, that's all I'm just going to say, his articulation is pretty hard to move. So, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, video. See you next time. Bye.